The Google Chromecast has revolutionized the way users consume media as it has offered one of the cheapest solutions to get content from your portable device to your big screen television. Earlier this year, Google announced the latest Chromecast device called the Chromecast Ultra, a $70 Chromecast variant that is able to cast content to your TV in 4K high definition. It's certainly a lot of cash for a Chromecast, roughly twice as much as a normal Chromecast, but until 4K becomes more widely adopted, it's going to cost a premium to view 4K content. One other neat perk with the Ultra is that it works with Google Home, Google's voice-activated speaker. You'll see the two work in harmony with one another at the end of this video, but first, we can start by unboxing the Chromecast Ultra by peeling off the tape, holding this box together, and then sliding off the top portion of the box. Shout out to the Canadians here, as we'll see the hockey puck shaped Chromecast Ultra here with a male HDMI cable sticking out on one end. It looks a bit beefier than the past Chromecast devices, but still pretty small and, you know, plenty small enough to stay out of sight behind a television. Also in the box, we'll find some get started information that is irrelevant to you because you have me. I'll show you the way. There's also a fairly beefy power cable here, which means you won't be able to power this hockey puck via a USB connection from your television. You'll need to plug it into a wall outlet, unfortunately. As for the setup process, once you plug it into your television and power the TV on, you'll just need to make your way to the Chromecast app, uh, which has actually been rebranded to Google Home. So if you're searching the iOS App Store or Google Play Store, look for Google Home. Then just make your way to devices and you'll see the Chromecast Ultra has been detected and is ready to be set up. There are just a few prompts you'll need to endure before the setup is complete. It's honestly a piece of cake. The most time consuming process is just downloading the Chromecast or Google Home app if you don't already have the app installed on your device. We'll place a link in the description so you can go quickly download it. Now, if we flash forward a couple of days, from my testing, I found the Chromecast Ultra to be lightning quick in casting my content. Uh, when used in conjunction with the Google Home, as soon as the request was sent, the content appeared on my TV just in a matter of seconds. The strength of the connection also appears to be very strong as well. I only noticed a couple minor skips here and there, and they didn't last very long. Also, the 4K content is beautiful. Pretty much the only reason you would want to buy a Chromecast Ultra is if you have a 4K TV and want a relatively inexpensive way to stream content in 4K. I think for $70, the Chromecast Ultra is a pretty solid solution, but there are going to be better options out there if you want a box or a, a UI to scroll through and whatnot. The Xiaomi Mi Box comes to mind actually as it costs about $70, the same as a Chromecast Ultra, and it can output HDR and 4K content as well. But you get a box that sits underneath your TV, you get a remote that lets you scroll through all of the apps that you have installed on the box. I would recommend you take that into consideration before you pull the trigger on the Chromecast Ultra. Before I go, here is a demo of the Google Home working with the Google Chromecast Ultra, casting content to my TV all from my voice, all wirelessly. The future is looking lazy. Hey Google. Play Rogue One trailer on TV. Sure, playing Rogue One trailer from YouTube on Chromecast Ultra. Do whatever I do. Hey Google, pause. I'd like to protect you. Hey Google, stop. Hey Google, play The Revivalists on TV. All right, The Revivalists from Spotify, playing on Chromecast Ultra. So that is a wrap. I'll leave a link to purchase the Chromecast Ultra down below in the description. Thumbs up, subscribe. You guys know the drill. I'm Bo HD from PhoneDag.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.